Hello and welcome back to another video on differentiation. So far we have looked at differentiating a function, say f of x, where x is our variable, and we are differentiating with respect to x. Well today we are going to be talking about differentiation with respect to other variables. So as we said, if we had an example that told us to differentiate some function f of x with respect to x. We said what we did is we brought the power on down to the front, multiplied by x and subtracting one from the power and we called this the derivative. And this is differentiating our function with respect to x. But what if we've not got x and we have to differentiate with respect to a different variable. Well, let's look at what we do by doing a little example. So this time we are told to differentiate 3t squared minus 2t with respect to t. Well, we know we are going to be finding the derivative with respect to t, so it's d by dt because this means differentiate with respect to t, so it's not d by dx this time and we are differentiating 3t squared minus 2t. Well, it works the exact same. We just differentiate, but instead of x, we've got t. So we bring the power on down to the front, multiply it by the three, we get six t, and then take away one from the power, two minus one is just one. We'll leave this as just six t. Now in this case, we've got minus two t, well, we said that this is t to the power of one, so we just bring the one down to the front, subtract one from the one, get zero. t to the zero just cancels out because it's just one, so we're just going to get subtract two. And this is differentiating an equation or an expression with respect to a different variable. Now here is our next example. We are given a function capital A with a variable r, equals pi r squared. So it looks like this is the area of a circle in terms of r, which is the radius. And we are told to find a dashed r. So this is the derivative. Now whatever is in brackets here is what we are differentiating with respect to. So we have the equation a r equals pi r squared. So how are we going to find a dashed R. Well, we treat pi as a constant. It's just some number. It's technically 3.14 such and such times r squared. Well, if you can see what we're going to do here is we're going to do 2 times this 3.14 blah, 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 and then put in our r and subtract 1 from the r power. So we get 2 minus 1, which is just 1. So you can see what we're doing here is just treating this as a number. So pi is just some number, and we're multiplying 2 by this number. But what we're going to do is we're going to replace this 3.14 and so on. We're just going to replace it by actually calling it pi. So we bring the power on down to the front, multiply it by the a, put in our r, and then take away one from the power, and we find that we get two pi r. And this is differentiating with respect to r with a constant. Now, in this final example, you can see we are asked to differentiate px squared with respect to p. Now, this time we have two variables. We have p and we have x. Now, because we are differentiating with respect to p, we know that we're going to have something of the form a p to some sort of power. Well, when differentiating with respect to a certain variable, all other variables are just treated as a constant. So p x squared is the same as just x squared p, where in this case we have it of the form a p to the n. And we know how to differentiate this with respect to p, as we said in the first example. Well, we simply bring the power on down to the front, bring one down, multiply it by x squared, 
it's just going to be x squared because this is just a constant. And then our p is going to go from p to the power of 1 to just p to the power of 0. And as we said, anything to the power of 0 is just 1. So this is just going to give us x squared. Now we're actually doing in this step here, d dp of px squared. So I'll just write that out so we know what we're doing. So this is the more complex style questions that you might get where you're asked to differentiate our, an expression with respect to a variable when we have two variables involved.